cheesy meatball casserole. It's what's for dinner tonight. Welcome to Monday. <laughs> and we're we're making um we're making dinner. I've been out of the pool all day, and so we're just uh, we're gonna make something quick and easy that everybody's gonna love. And I know everybody's gonna love this. I actually found this recipe maybe last year on TikTok, and uh, yeah, I've made it maybe once. So we're gonna do it again with a little bit of alteration. So here we go. It's cheesy meatball casserole. So we're gonna start off with some some of the like the frozen mozzarella sticks, right? Um, let's go ahead and we'll open this bag up with scissors that they probably used way too many times. They need to be sharpened. That's okay. All right, let's just. I, by the way, I've greased this pan already. Make us a nice little layer down here at the bottom of the cheese sticks. Um, they don't fully cover the bottom of the pan. It'll be all right. It's because the pan's too big, really and surely. But it'll be all right. Next, we're going to take some frozen meatballs. Yeah, man. I mean, I need more scissors. And we're going to pour those right on over the top. We are going to take one can of diced of diced tomatoes. Oh yeah, nice new can opener here. We're going to pour that down over top. I'm going to mix that up. Now this is where we're going to alter this a little bit. It calls for a jar of Alfredo sauce. Um, I remember when I made this last time, I did spaghetti sauce and the Alfredo sauce. Apparently, the Alfredo sauce I have, um, I don't know if it got opened at the store or what, but somehow it was already open. So, I've got a jar of three cheese spaghetti sauce, and we're just going to use that and pour that right down over the top. Can I get that all spread out a little bit there? All right, now there's no question that we're going to be adding cheese, right? There's no question because this is our house and everything we eat includes cheese. So let's just top this with some mozzarella cheese. Not that there's not already cheese on the bottom, right? All right, I have the oven over there preheating to 375 degrees. We're going to toss this in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. And there it is. It's that easy. There, there's nothing else to do. We're just going to serve this up and have dinner. And there we go. <laughs> 